Well, this is the small rig blazer carbon fiber tripod. A lot better than the one that my camera's on currently. Um, and it is my only heavy duty tripod. So let's open it up. Comes in a case. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice case. Oh, I wonder what it could be. This is her, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of got like some bronze gold plating going on. Oh, baby. Yeah, see what I mean? It's got like some gold bronze plating. I don't even know if the camera's really focusing in on it or not. Um, but looks pretty sweet. But I'm loosening these up right here. Now I'm tightening them. This is the most jank product review ever. No one's ever gonna send me anything, ever. Excited to add this to the production gear. Also got a new desk. All right, so this is what is in my Pelican as an NFL videographer. First thing at the top of the Pelican case, my knee pads. So obviously they got grass stains. Um, can't get them out because I don't really know if it's grass stained or if it's like the green paint from the field. Don't know, but yeah, these have been super helpful. This is my favorite lens to shoot sports with. It is the Sony 100 to 400. Um, it's a variable f-stop at 4.5 to 5.6. Um, but it's pretty nice because even when you're at the 400 millimeter length, um, you still get that nice, you know, background blur, bokeh, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, this is my go-to lens um, for really any game day. I also really like this lens because the focus pull is a lot longer. Um, so all of my shots are, tend to be more smooth when it comes to pulling focus. And yeah, this one's pretty much a staple in my bag. My next lens in my Pelican is none other than the 70-200 2.8. Um, this is the Mark I version. Um, I've heard people raving about the Mark II, so I'd love to give that a shot. But um, this one was my first lens ever, other than my kit lens. I mean, this one's done me very well throughout the years. I think I've had this one for about three or four years now. 7200 2.8 Mark I. This is the iPhone 13 Pro, which the NFL gives us um, if we don't want to use our own phones. And I personally own the iPhone XR, so I need to catch up a little bit. Love this one because it has the three times zoom as well as the 0.5. Um, so it's just, you know, really good to get three times zoom when you're on the field um, instead of just the regular. If you don't already know, I feel like a lot of creators have been talking about this as of recent, but I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate it. Um, this is probably one of the best tools that you can get. I don't know if it's gonna focus on my hand or not. This is one of the best tools that you can get, um, especially if you're a fast paced content creator, on the go kind of person. This is a lightning to SD card cable. Um, so what you're gonna do is, you know, when you're on the go, when you're shooting, you can put your SD card in it and then you can plug it into your phone and then all your content's there. Um, you're gonna find all of your videos in the files app um, on your iPhone and then you're gonna find all your photos in the photos album app as well. So. This has been super helpful on game days. Um, MLB actually introduced me to this. Um, and so that's pretty much all we use in MLB, NFL to get all of that fast paced real time content instead of having to go back and forth from computers, use the ethernet cables, whatever it may be. I think it's ethernet, yeah, I don't know. Regardless, this thing is a lifesaver. I have nine volt batteries for my shotgun mic. Also, totally forgot to tell you guys, um, my camera body is the Sony a7 IV. That's currently what I'm filming on and it is the only camera body that I have, so that is why it's not in my Pelican right now. And then on top is a shotgun mic from Rode. This is a little tool that I use on all NFL game days. This is a iPhone mount for your hot shoe on the camera. That's how we can simultaneously shoot with DSLR footage, mirrorless cameras, as well as iPhone footage. Press record on the phone and on the camera, and then you're good to go. So um, this one is from Ulanzi. Just ordered it off Amazon. I'm pretty sure Aaron Berkshire sent this to me. So these two, pretty cool. Um, this one is just like a little brush um, for your lens. And then this one is a, not a turkey baster, but a, I don't know, an air blower. I don't know. These are super clutch. And if you don't have these, you need to get them because you're probably one of the people who have specs on your videos. And I used to be one of those people too. And then I always wondered, how do I fix it? All you gotta do is get a little air blower. This was in here from the wild card game where the Bucks and the Eagles played. Um, I got, pro that was probably my best game of the year, um, footage wise. I got Chris Godwin's crazy touchdown. Um, the one where it looks like he's going airborne, um, about to dunk on the goalpost. I got that shot. Um, I got Trey Palmer's touchdown right at me. I'm excited to show you guys that footage uh, later this week. These are armbands that in the NFL, you have to get these before every game um, to be able to 
you know, be on field level. You put this on your arm or your leg or around your lanyard just so that security can see it so you don't get kicked off the field. So this is an ND filter. I haven't really been using it that much lately. Um, it only fits my kit lens. And so I normally just crank the shutter speed. Um, probably not supposed to do that, but I don't really care. Uh, so, and then this is also a cheaper one off of Amazon. It gets a little bit fuzzy, so I don't really like to use it. Um, I'm probably gonna get a nicer one. Uh, might go Polar Pro or something like that, but we'll see. And then as far as the case goes, um, this is the Pelican 1510. Um, this is a great size, in my opinion. Um, it fits carry-on when you're traveling. Um, it's not too heavy, not too bulky, and it fits all the gear I just listed. I'll list all this stuff down below just in case you guys are wanting to add to your bag um, or your Pelican case as well. That is what is in my bag or Pelican. And uh, yeah, so that is pretty much all I use on the daily. And then until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.